Welcome. Welcome to Pit My Ride, which would be tough to do because I took the bus here. <laughs> yeah, of course, public transportation, where most people smell like a rotten falafel. You know, just exactly what is a falafel? The term falafel is Middle Eastern, meaning feel awful. I think they feel awful because they live in the Middle East. <laughs> uh, would you <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. Where would you rather live, in the Middle East or the North Pole? You know, I suppose if you like falafels, you should probably pick the Middle East. But if you're like me, and you can't get enough of that whale blubber, you should probably pick the North Pole. You know, I love the new black and Cajun style whale blubber. Mmm, <laughs> yum. It's the only sperm whale blubber I will swallow. Okay, a little offensive, but it's a full moon today, and I'm not talking about the one in the atmosphere. I'm talking about our cameraman. Will you please pull your pants up? My goodness. Mmm. You know, speaking of the moon, can you moonwalk? You know, Michael Jackson made that move. He made it really awesome, and I love it. I can't do it. And this is what's great about that. Major League Baseball is dedicating the entire week to Michael Jackson. At least I think they are, because all the players are wearing one glove. You know, how did glove ever become slang for a rubber? Or is rubber slang for a condom? No glove, no love. You know, I, I like that saying. I also like no teeth, no popcorn. Grandma? Anyways, or no shoes, no shirt, no touching the dancers. Isn't it funny that so much in life revolves around sex? It's the cycle of life. Guy meets girl. Guy kisses girl. Guy marries girl. Girl meets another guy. Guy beats up girl. Guy goes to prison. Guy meets guy. Yep, sex, it's important. <laughs> you know, my girlfriend wants to have sex 14 times a day, which isn't a problem for me because I have a lot of friends. Over 5,000 on Facebook. Four years in running. Welcome to Tailgating with Kato! <laughs> Remember, no touching the dancers. <laughs> if you like to be on the show, it's very easy. You can Skype me live at Film on Live. That's all you do. Go to Film on Live, or you just come down to the studio at 342 North Cannon Drive in Beverly Hills. Or call me. We have a number you can call, too. I'll get that number to you later. It'll be flashing on your screen. We are right across the street from the Beverly Hills Fire Hydrant Factory, where there's never a place to park. We're getting closer to finding our winner for the National Anthem Contest. So get your submissions in now because the auditions are closing fast. Right now we have a clip sent in to us. Someone wants to be on our show live. The winner will sing the National Anthem here. Let's take a look at this clip to see if someone Please welcome, is good. Please welcome, as voted by you, the fans, our winner of the Toyota Get the Feeling of a Star promotion, Natalie Gilbert.
I've got to give it up for Maurice Cheeks for singing the anthem, helping that poor girl out. Oh, my goodness. So that's what you do. Just Skype us or you can sing a song here. Hey, you ready to meet our first guest? I am, too. Our first guest is a model, and I'm telling you, she is super gorgeous. Oh, my God, she's so gorgeous. That she, she makes me want to go home and beat up my girlfriend. That's how gorgeous she is. She used to work in construction, or at least she's responsible for most of the erections around town. What kind of show is this, Kato? Let's take a look at her. We want to see more. We want to see more. No. Oh. This is my favorite part. I'll show you where. This is what we do at photo shoots. Looks like you're doing a photo shoot in someone's closet. <laughs> I like it. Focus. When he says focus, isn't that his job to focus? Oh, let me stop this. Let me tread, everybody! Hi. From MTV2's Guy Code. I know that Levy was talking to me earlier going, hey, Kato, you know, I could do a whole show by myself. I could talk for hours and hours, but guess what? We have another guest. Ah, who? Oh, who? oh, you're going to love this guy. Oh, my goodness. He is phenomenal. He's, he's super cool, super talented, and you may remember him from Growing Pains as uh, Ben Seaver. He's a hopeless romantic. Mm. He used to write his girlfriend a letter every day, every day for two years straight until she finally married the mailman. But seriously, let's watch a clip. Hey, nice sweater. I got one just like it, only I never wear it. Makes me look like a dork. Actually, this is your sweater. I mean, I didn't think you'd mind. Everybody says it makes you look like a dork. <laughs> hey, there she is. So, how's this sound? Uh, so, uh, Sasha, do anything special Saturday night between 8 and midnight? What do you think? Nice balance between subtlety and begging. <laughs> No, not now. It's Cheryl. At least I think it's Cheryl. She looks so girl-like. <laughs> Look, do me a favor. Keep her busy so she doesn't blow my chances with Sasha. Go to girl class. Hi, Ben. Hi, Luke. Uh, uh, Cheryl, um, I gotta run. Luke was just asking me about my schedule. Maybe you could fill him in? <laughs> Hi, Sasha. Uh, speaking of the Sadie Hawkins dance... Me and you? <laughs> What are you joking? <laughs> Not in a million oh, years. Oh, oh, no, no, I was going to ask her a little trivia question. I love it, Jeremy Miller. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. I was, you know what, Jeremy? Thanks for being here. I'll call you too. Uh, you met Levy, right? Yeah. She's down. Yes. Pleasure. Hello. Pleasure. Let me tell you something about that. Hey, well, I got a handshake. You got a hug. Uh, Levy, I want to ask you a question. There's two Academy Award winners in that scene. Can you name them? Ah, uh, correct. Try. And that Hillary. scene. Hillary? Hillary Swank and Leonardo DiCaprio. She's a winner! Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Jeremy, you work with like these amazing, right? We Who? had incredible, incredible guest stars on the show. I, um, besides, besides the two of them, we had uh, Brad Pitt multiple times. He was on the show two or three times. Uh, Tracy actually got to make out with him. Really? Uh -huh. nice. uh, Tracy Gold, by the way. Tracy Gold uh, played my sister. Um, Heather Graham was on the show multiple times. Um, you know, we had really such funny? incredible, incredible guest stars. You, you don't know this, but. Uh, Many, many years ago, I never brought this up to you, you and I were at a party, a birthday party, uh -huh. for a guy named Leonardo DiCaprio, during this time at his house, it was, or at someone's house in the valley at Tulipa Lake. Everybody was playing basketball. Uh-huh. I was there. You we were met. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding you. You were there. I swear to God, I was there. I don't know if we have a clip or not of that. We don't have the after party, but we got a, we got a Jeremy, actually. You, you were a hoopster. Uh, okay. I think you were. We got, do we have that clip? I mean, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, you're a hoopster, baby! That's why he's tailgating with Kato. <laughs> that was a jam, and I think that was fixed. <laughs> you think? A little I think. Now, that's, you know, I, that's the hair of Rock in the 90s. Hey, I'll listen to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is Adam's room. Say hi. Hi. Who is that? My little brother. I love it. Basically, right now, I don't have a love life. I, um, my parents don't want me to start dating yet. And, um, right now, I'm not even allowed to drive. What a baby. Not, not allowed to drive. And that, that went today because he wasn't allowed to drive here. He had his wife drive. See? So you obviously are dating because you have a wife absolutely, now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Life is good, then. Life is very good. And Life are you married, great. Libby? No. Oh, that, that explains your hand on my leg. Yeah. Hey, Libby, there we go. I, I knew that was something. It's going up more. It's going up more. <laughs> 
just to clear up, not that I don't want to be married, but we haven't actually tied the knot just yet. She's still my fiance, although well, we've been together so long. To me, she's my wife. I mean, I don't think of it any different. She's here somewhere, right? Yes, she is actually. Um, we're gonna f in the back somewhere. All right, well, she's invited to come here and sit on the uh, our huge studio audience that you hear the laugh track of. And uh, Johnny, we love you. If you want to come here, we love you. <laughs> um, so, uh, guy code. I just saw parts of it now. What's explain guy code at MTV to the people that don't know it? It's, it's like Jeremy and Cato. It's pretty much everything that pertains to the rules of being a guy. So, so it's a lot of sports. Sports, farting, well, doing sport, the deed. Farting is a sport that covers. Just about everything. As a matter of yeah. fact, we have a, a fart contest. And Jeremy, you always win that one. Oh, thank you. I appreciate uh -huh. it. It's, it's a skill. And, and what do you guys do? You just uh, comment on certain topics of the oh, week. Oh, you're not with the guys. No. You're, you're, gonna, you're doing. I am talking to the guys of America. Oh, really? Well, who wouldn't listen? Right? How do you so please you a woman? So, you, uh, you've been to spring break then? I have. And did the show go to spring break? Yeah, we just aired um, the first one on Tuesday. When you say air, you're not talking about farts again. No. All right, because you have to please. Could have. <laughs> yeah, <No>. Would have. <laughs> did it. Well, let's show. Do we have a clip? Can we show spring break? First of all, everyone is trying to get yeah. stress off of their back. And we all know the best stress reliever is what? Sex. Hook up. Sex. Do the nasty. Sex. Smush. I think spring break is for unleashing your inner slut. Yeah, girls go to spring break to hook up with somebody who you'll never see again. What do you mean you never see again? I, the girls yeah. I did on spring were with on spring break. I stayed in touch with for many, many, many yeah. years. Yeah. I swear to you. Did they become your girlfriend? Um, yeah, I think so. It was uh, my first time in Florida. I met a girl. She was in Missouri, and we we wrote letters. This is uh, went before the cell phone actually. So wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dating yourself. Jerry and Bolin, uh, in from spring, uh, Springfield, Missouri oh, is pretty exciting. Okay. So we do a, a segment called uh, fairy tailing. And fairy tales is like a fairy tale story that happened in your life. Mm -hmm. So something crazy must have happened to you on spring break. And Jeremy, you have, you have time to think about yours. But I want a crazy uh, story from yeah. Growing Pains or whatever. You said Brad Pitt, Leonardo, Hillary Swank, Heather Graham from Boogie Nights. What's the craziest thing like for spring break for you? Oh, this is... He's so cute. <laughs> I love that Cato guy. I love that uh, Joni just walked by. Is, uh, he just gave us the sure sign like she's a librarian. <laughs> now, on our show, you can actually talk. She's locked in. Joni, you can't leave. No. Get back here. Get back here. My heart's oh my breaking. God, it's, it's coming back. So, do you have like a fairy tale story? A and by fairy the way, tale you, story? Well, let's look at You're very, very sexy. And um, I saw a video. He's very sexual. And, and <laughs> I'm just, in, in your part Vietnamese in yes. America, which is, of course, right there, it says, yes, yes. me so horny. Yeah. Love you long time. Oh really? <laughs> me not five dollar. Me yeah. love long time too because I can I can afford the five. Holler for five. So give me a story like this is what the audience is craving. Levy. Uh, a love story? A fairy well, tale story? A fairy tale like something that's an amazing thing that happened to you. Oh God. Can I make up a it fantasy? Uh, you could make up a fantasy for our show. It could be just something that happened in spring break. Oh, a, a spring break. No, no any, anything. But yeah, you know, you're a smart girl. Something that'll titillate the audience. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I know, that meant nipples, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love this girl. I love this girl. Um, I'm drawing a blank. It's too much pressure. <laughs> oh no, no he's, I, okay. You know, Jeremy already he raised his yeah. hand. He said I can go first. So we'll give you time to think. All right. Sure, why not? Even a tattoo story. Oh. Which, by the way, I love your tattoo.